hello hello Scorpio welcome back to divine destiny guide I'm back with another reading for you I hope you're doing well if this is your first time I welcome you returning subscriber thank you very much for your continued support I hope this message will resonate with you you will support this channel by subscribing if you have not yet done so giving the videos a thumbs up so that others can be blessed as well and encouraged thank you so very much so Scorpio a lot of you are faced with decisions choices that you have to make and and for some of those choices the devil is in the details okay so spirit wants you to take a risk take a chance on whatever this is that you are praying about but make sure that before you make your decision, you need to go into isolation. You need to hermit yourself because whatever this decision is, it's going to bring you stability in your life. So again, when you have to make choices, you know, like the seven of cups, there are different things in each cups. Make sure you look at them, examine them carefully because the devil is in the details. Wanting to come up to, to distract you, to pull you back, to throw you off of your path. Wow. To throw you off of your path but this is the wheel of fortune. This is your destiny. This is your destiny we're talking about. Like I said, this is fated. Whatever the choice that you will need to make, this is going to determine how stable your life, your future is. See, the beauty about God, the divine, is that we are not forced. We have free will to make our decisions. And so Spirit is saying, examine these choices, these decisions, whatever it is. Is it career? Is it a relationship? Is it investment? Starting your own business? What is it that you want to take a risk on? Only you know. Some of you, it may be that you need to make certain medical decisions. You know, but whatever it is, Spirit is saying to pray about it, meditate about it, make sure that, you know, God is in the midst of it because the devil is certainly showing up. So make sure that whatever you're doing, you bring the divine in the midst as well. Because like I said, this, whatever you're going to do next, this is going to cement your your destiny so spirit wants you to make sure that you're making the right decision the best choice for for you you know your family your career whatever it is that you need to do too many wow and as i said too many and um the cards fell out but the one that stayed up which i'm gonna keep shuffling the five of ones you know you're gonna have conflict you're gonna have drama and some of the cards that fell out i'll just show you knight of swords but like i said it's too many ace of one so this will be a passionate start a new beginning this is a chariot this is coming in quickly you know again this could be a connection this could be love, the nine of cups. But then in the background, as I said, the devil is in the details. You saw the five of one, the conflicts, the drama, the enemy. Of course, we know that the enemy will not win because if it is fated for you, as we just talk about, look, the seven of one spirit wants you to stand your ground. Stand your ground. As I was going to say before, the devil, the enemies, they cannot win. 
Whatever they're doing is only for a time. That is only to strengthen your character. See, sometimes before we embark on a certain thing, whatever it is, conflicts come up and that is kind of way to see are you sure about this are you willing to fight for this because see anything that you're willing to stand your ground about or for that means you will you you're not gonna just let it it fall like that so if this is a business that you're thinking about investing in and you're trying to get certain paperwork's done are you know trying to get this building or this uh this office space and you're getting so much run around and you know people trying to pretty much overlook whatever you're doing downplaying it spirit is saying don't let that distract you this is just to say that you're willing to stand up for what you believe in and because of that you will be even more prouder, more passionate about this thing that you're going after because you had to work very hard. You had to fight off too many people, people who you don't even know. There is like the enemy set them there as traps in your way to try to throw you off, to get you discouraged, to get you frustrated. This could be a connection, a relationship, a partnership, and people are trying to, to compete where they don't even compare. You know, people are trying to get involved, you know, maybe whisper in your ear or the other person's ear, oh, I don't think this person is suitable for you. I don't think they're a good match for you. But there is something about when you know what you know what you know and you step out in faith, like I said, spirit wants you to go into hermit, meditate, pray, ask God for signs, confirmations that this is the path that you should go on. And let me tell you, it doesn't mean that because the divine God, spirit, source, however you know him as, even though the answer is yes, it doesn't mean that you're not going to come up against oppositions and challenges. There's a song that, you know, we would sing growing up, the hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. The hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. So yes, you may have conflicts, but when you know that this is what the divine says you should do, you should move on it. You know, this, this is like Noah building that giant boat on dry land people were laughing at him he's crazy but again he caught the vision he had the dream until finally it wasn't funny anymore so again people may discourage you laugh at you do everything to set you back but then when they see the end some of those same people they're going to want to come back into your life to help you to celebrate. And again, that's where you should use wisdom again. Those are the same people who did not support you. They fought against you, discourage you, lay every traps and snares in your way to, to try to distort you, to take you off of your path. So that you would not come into your destiny. But see, what God has for you, it is for you. When God says yes, the enemy cannot say no. If this is fated for you, your destiny, and this is why so many of us do not, is almost like the promised land, we don't get there. Why we don't get there? Because we get discouraged. We think that because... You know, if God wants this for me, it shouldn't be this hard. Really? But yet still, you will fight for anything else. And you will stay focused because you believe in it. But yet still, when it comes to your career, your future, your family, 
you will give up because you're thinking if it was meant for me, then it shouldn't be this hard. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. Spirit is saying, get into hermit. Be still and know that I am God. Stand your ground when you're faced with oppositions. I'm telling you, especially when you know what you know what you know. You don't need other people's opinion. When they come to you to give you their opinion, uh-huh, 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 okay, okay. You know, if you want to entertain them, but at the end of the day, you know what it is. Spirit is saying, stand your ground. Don't back down. This is you having the faith to be foolish when it comes to taking a chance on your life, your future, your destiny, the page of swords. So like I said, these people may be watching you, you know, you for where you're going, see all the teeth, it's going to cause people to talk. Maybe you're going to be in a career that requires you to speak, speak the word. The sword is the word, thought, communication. Spirit, spirit has something great in store for you. See the eight of wands, communication coming in fast. So for some of you, you're going to have to make this decision very quick. Ace of pentacles, because this is regarding like i said your stability sorry guys let me just i'm sorry this is regarding your this is a fresh start ace of pentacles this is regarding your future okay so spirit wants you again to Pray about it and see a part of praying is having faith. What is it that you need? What is it that you need the divine to intervene to for you on your behalf? And you need to pray because it's like when it rains, it pours. See eight of wands. This, this is coming in quick, fast. When it rains, it pours. And so for a lot of you, if this is job offers, it's going to come in quick. If this is love offers, you're going to have people asking you out on dates left, right, and center. So whatever it is, Spirit is saying, you know, start seeking, start speaking that into being, start praying about it. Because you will, when this offer, this stable offer of a fresh beginning of stability comes in for you, you're going to have to make this decision quickly. Spirit, what else do you want us to know? Mm. Yeah, two of swords. So that you're not confused. You're not in two heads or thoughts about whatever this is that is coming in. You know, don't be, don't be blinded by the lies of the enemies. Again, you have the teeth there. Maybe too many people in your business when in fact you are the emperor. This came out with it. You are the emperor. You are the one. You are the boss. You are the ruler. You should be able to make your own decisions. Stand in your truth. That's going to bring prosperity in your life. You are the boss. See at the back five of pentacles. Because if you don't make the right decision, the best decision for you, this is what you're going to be left with out in the cold. With regrets, resentment, 
So maybe, for example, you're in a, in a job, a dead-end job. You, you're not really satisfied, but it pays the bill, or at least some of them. And, and you want something, and in that moment of desperation, when, when your manager or your supervisor really ticked you off, you prayed and you asked the divine to send you, I need, I need to get out of here. I need changes in my life. But yet still, when the opportunity or opportunities came up, you, got, you, you became scared. See, we're talking again about pentacles. We're talking about your stability. I showed you the card earlier, you know, with the ace of pentacles. That's a fresh new beginning. Spirit wants you to close out those doors or these doors of lack and poverty mindset that is holding you back. Fear, false evidence appearing real. See, this is why even in, in say, romantic connections, a lot of people kind of miss or walk out of their blessing because when they were fed up with that toxic partner that they had, male or female, and in that moment of frustration, they cried out to God, please send me somebody with this, 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 this quality. Somebody who's kind, loving, who won't cheat, who won't break my heart, hardworking, all of these things, you know, and, per, and maybe more, they list out. But maybe the way that, that, that they were expecting it to show up is not the way God showed it up. Because maybe this partner came a different race, ethnic background. Maybe this person came in fat or too skinny. They don't look the part of the people that, you know, they normally attract. And so it's like, even though they see the qualities, but no, you don't look, I don't want to date somebody from out of my race because of what my family, my community, they're going to think. Or you don't look the part. You don't dress the part. You don't have the money that I want. I'm, I'm flashy. I'm, you know, all of this stuff. And so they end up walking out of heaven to go back to the same toxic, fake people that they were just saying they were tired of. And then when you started to invest in yourself, because you know, for a lot of you, a lot of us, you probably thought that person was the one, right? But then when they left you, overlooked you, rejected you, this is how a lot of us, again, too, come into our destiny and our purpose. Based on the brokenness that, that you have encountered or we have encountered. And so when, when God started to move in your midst, when these people look back, they're like, shooks, heck, I made a bad mistake. That was the person for me, but then it's too late. Again, just like Noah's Ark, the door is too close. I mean, the door is already closed. So people came knocking, pounding, but it's too late. Mercy is gone. So don't allow fear to let you pass or miss out on your destiny because as i said before you have paths you need to choose you need to make decisions as well you have free will but it is destined for you the divine again god came that you will have life and have it more abundantly that's what jesus did he came so we, we could have that right he know the plans that he has for us to bless us, to prosper us, not to harm us, but to give us an expected end. But then all of us have free wills, free will. And so at the end of the day, it's up to us. 
It's really up to us. So don't sit there in fear because you're afraid. What if I step out of my cubicle and go over somewhere else to start all over and then it doesn't work out? These people are going to laugh at me. You know, when you know, in fact, that this is something that you prayed about, you prayed for that. You prayed for that. Yes, you prayed for that. You went into the four of swords. You meditated. You prayed for that. You seek God. So why are you doubting yourself now when the opportunity comes in? King of Wands. Again, this is passionate. You're fiery. Spirit is saying, go after this. You see again, it has the teeth just like the Page of Swords. Spirit is saying, go passionately. You are the king. You, you master this now. Spirit is saying, don't hold back. Don't hold back. For some of you, like, as like I said, two of cups, this is a romantic connection. Spirit is going to send you the partner if this is what you want, you prayed about. But then when it show up, don't, don't run away because, like I said, it may not come the way that you want it. And remember, nobody's perfect. Seven of Pentacles, again, your stability. So whatever this communication that you're going to be getting probably from a distance, this is regarding, see, I have a dream. This is regarding something you prayed about. This is your stability. Wow, six of pentacles. This is going to allow you. See, somebody could be giving you a key. I see here, you know, like he's handing her a key. You know, this could be your new office space. You're getting that position that you prayed for, that offer. I see the calculator. Again, so your, your stability, your material wealth, blessing, you know, you're, you're going to be able to give back to people, to be charitable, to be able to take care of yourself and, and if you have family as well. So for a lot of you, you have been, you know, praying because of the challenges. And again, look, the five of ones, it came out. Right under, what's back here again, the two of swords. Again, you know, just up in your head, unable to make a decision between, you know, two worlds. Too much chatter in your head. You see the conflict, the competition, the five of ones. And Spirit is saying, you are the boss. You are in charge of your life. This is your life. This is your destiny. This is your future. You prayed for this. So don't listen. See, again, with this card, you see the mask. These, whether they're families or friends, they don't mean you any good. They are trying, you know, see, they're, they're, they're coming up with strategies how they can distract you. You know, again, put you in your head with the two of swords so that you just don't know what, what decision to make. Spirit is saying you are the emperor. You learn now, by now, you know how, how this thing works. You say this is regarding your ten of cups. The happy life, the stable life. You know, seeing yourself with the spouse, the partner, you know, the children, you just been fulfilled emotionally, again, grounded. So I see a lot in the, the material and, you know, in love, you know, whether it's even if it's by yourself, where you are stable, 
That's what a lot of you have been craving for your stability. And Spirit is saying, this is Four of Cups, do not miss your blessing. Do not miss out on your blessing because of what the naysayers, what they're saying, what they're telling you. See, Five of Swords, again, the, the mask, again, the conflict, the drama. Spirit is saying, don't allow the enemy to, to get you distracted. It's like I, I almost can say that, and you know, I get used to it by now that whenever I'm doing something, especially if it is something that the divine wants me to do, that there's definitely going to be oppositions. And so I know I'm not afraid, I'm not scared. So when I go to do anything and I get the pushback from people, for me, that is definitely a green light that yes, yes. If, if, if there is a time that I was not sure that made me sure, because guess what? It's only when you're doing something big, something great that the snakes come out, that the dogs come out to bite you, to, to bark. The enemy comes to kill, steal and destroy. And Spirit is saying, don't allow the chatter to stop you. Don't allow people to bring drama and conflict into your life to throw you off of your path. People want to try to one-up you, to compete with you. Be stable in yourself. You know, for a lot of us, it's about time. You have been through so much. It's about time that you stop failing at the same time plans of the enemy it's about time that you come to realize how the enemy works his tactics his strategies it's nothing new the bible tells us that there's nothing new under the sun it's the same three temptations that the enemy used in the garden with adam and eve that he used with jesus and it's the same things that he used against us every day and remember, when you're not going down that dark path, just know that you are, you are on a hit list with the enemy. Okay? But just know that the, the hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. Just know that in the end, we win. In the end, we win. In the end, we win the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands. In the end, we win. The enemy will be defeated. They're going to be stressed because they realize they can't control you. They can't hold you back. All these swords that they tried to put in your head, you know, you're trying to be sober and they're trying to drag you back out there to start drinking again, to engage in toxic behavior. Just know that that's just how the enemy works. And this is how you will know by people's action. The, you know, if they know that you're trying to go after things, look at this, the devil. Yeah, that's how the enemy works. Temptations. Chains, bondages. That's what the enemy comes to do. Like I said, to distract, to kill, to steal, to destroy our purposes and our destiny. It's about time we know how the enemy works. And even on this card, the three of pentacles, it's normally collaboration, people working together. But also I see the mask. That's how the enemy works. This is regarding your stability. And people will be coming up or they, maybe this already happened in the past or this is coming up in the future. But there may be people coming up, planning, strategizing how to stop your abundance, how to prevent you from walking into your stability. But spirit is saying, get into hermit. I told you before, spirit wants you to get into quiet time, write down your vision, make it plain. Spirit wants you to shine the light in on your situation, on your soul. You are the queen of swords, whether you're masculine or feminine. This is what I'm saying. You have been through enough to know that you are enough. 
you know the truth by now. And so the truth must and it should set you free. Because you're going to be celebrating soon. Ace of Cups, new start, new beginning. Knight of Wands. This is passionate. Ace of Pentacles, guys. Ten of Pentacles. You're, you can have it all. You can have it all. Queen of Wands, passionate. Celebration. Victory. The Four of Wands. You can have it all. Yes, the magician manifesting. You can have it all or none at all. Again, the Five of Pentacles. The choice is yours. What are you going to do? You have free will to make this decision. Remember, you manifested this. And so when Spirit deliver, don't allow fear, don't allow the enemy, trickery, robbery, nothing to, to distract you. To throw you off of your path. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I'm asking you to do so. Please give the videos a thumbs up again so that others can be encouraged and blessed as well. Scorpio, I thank you so very much. Leave a comment if you felt led to do so. Thank you. Until next time, be blessed.